So a question I had, and maybe you have, is how much solar can you throw at a 50 amp Victron solar charger before it maxes out or something bad happens? Let's find out today. So we got a little project going on. I got a bunch of uh, these commercial panels that planning on putting on the bus, but uh, for right now, we got it just uh, running a little solar experiments and charging various things up in the shop. So I figured let's throw these at uh, a 50 amp charge controller and see what happens. These are 455 watts each bifacial. And uh, it's a little actually chilly this morning. So actually they're performing better than I thought they would. Let's go see what's going on in the shop. Just to show you I'm not uh, fooling you here. This guy here is at about 90 degrees. Yeah, we lost the cover on that. Uh, if you want us to get better thermal temp guns, continue to like, comment, and subscribe and watch our videos so we can afford a better one. How about that? <laughs> Actually, you can tell it is getting warmer by the second here, it looks like. So I think we may see some thermal throttling here at some point as well, which is definitely going to be a point in this video. Let's see what happens. Still kicking out over 50 amps at some point. All right, we are still putting out sometimes over 50 amps. And temp-wise, we're up to 117. So no derating yet. A good ways later, and still 50 amps. And we are up to 129. I thought I saw 130 on there. There we go. So interesting to know. I actually thought that they derated before this, but I guess not. We'll keep going. Well, here we are again, sometime later, still pushing 50 amps. Uh, we're going backwards on the battery, that's why um, the voltage keeps dropping. And we're at 136 here, and still pushing full, so. You gotta get these things really hot to get them to derate and throttle down. Here's something a little bit interesting. I have removed the load and the voltage is going up, and now take a look at the watts. We were at about 660 the, before, because keep in mind, this charger is limited by amps, not by watts. Again, going back to our uh, 12, 24 versus 48 conversation, uh, the higher the voltage, the more watts. So as this voltage approaches even 14, we're gonna see closer to 700 watts. All right, now we are just a little bit further in the day, and now we're down to 45 amps, but still, I would say, you know, still making great power. So that leads me to believe that this 900 watts or so is about perfect because we don't have a ton of clipping. In case anyone doesn't know what clipping is, that is when the solar charger, well, I wish I had a whiteboard to draw it out, but that is when a... Uh, solar charger reaches, reaches its max while there's still room above it where the panels could still produce. A little bit of clipping is just fine. You probably don't want to clip a ton uh, just because you're wasting, you know, potential capacity, but bigger charge controllers also cost a lot of money. So when in doubt, I usually err on a little bit more solar rather than oversizing your charge controllers, but to each their own. So I've had customers with anywhere from 600 to 800, but we haven't done too many at 900, which is what we're, which is what we're testing right there. I can't point very well. So uh, I would say somewhere between 800 and 900 watts is about your sweet spot for these chargers if you want to max them out. I think it would probably be safe to even go a little bit higher if you wanted to. Uh, just for over paneling for better shade performance all that sort of stuff so if uh, if you want to do that I would say go ahead so once again from all of us here at Soda Solar thanks for watching uh, comment and leave your suggestions for other solar experiments and things we should try out we love doing them especially when we get a little bit of break in the action all right thanks